Hi guys, it's John here with another SC Prime video, and today we're just going to talk through a few things. First one is the most important one, which is that there is the new release of 1.62 out. So it's worth getting that updated on your providers as soon as you can. Now I did do a video on this a few weeks back, so you can just use that video. I will link it down below and in the top right of the screen. And yeah, it's the same process. You just download the latest version and basically overwrite your existing version. So I've got mine now updated to 1.6.2 on both my Linux and my Windows systems. So this does add in a few additional bits and pieces and fixes here. So it's definitely worth doing. If you're still on 1.6.0, then you do really need to update soon because you are running two versions out of date now. Now I can normally see who's running a version that's out of date from one of my setups because they're using duckdns.org. Now there's nothing wrong with duckdns.org. The, they did get DDoSed, I believe, a while back, but every site can get DDoSed. It doesn't matter which dynamic host provider you're using. They are actually hosted on AWS, so maybe that's a conflict of interest for ST Prime. But uh, yeah, just make sure you get yourself updated to 1.6.2 and you'll then be compliant with the latest version. So the next thing I want to talk about is the licensing. Now, this all sort of kicked off as I was planning my holiday to Thailand, so I didn't really get around to investigating it fully. But basically, it was announced a few weeks back on the Discord that you would have to purchase a license even if you had a DIY setup. So there's three different tiers of licensing, and you can see the different prices here. I do wish they would change the font color of this because it's a bit ridiculous having blue font on a black background. But anyway, Basic version starts at $99, full version $450, and a standard version at $220. Now, I believe they're going to stop selling the standard version because no one's buying it, basically. So it's basically a choice between the basic and the full. Now, you don't have to buy a license. The main reason for buying one, though, is that you will receive the data from the XANet services customers. So those are the sort of big contracts that the team are going for. So in theory, if you do buy a license, you will get more data on your provider, but obviously until they sign contracts and get people on board, that's obviously yet to be seen. So it's still worth doing, I think, because you do get a rebate in the first 12 months or over the first 12 months of buying the license. So you do get a full refund for the basic version, for example, and they do refund it in the SCP token. So you pay $99 and after six months, you get 50% back. And then after 12 months, you get the remaining 50% back. So the basic license, it's still just the CLI, which you're obviously used to by now. And it does introduce some nice little features. So it's got an auto re-announce mode and an auto pricing mode. So that means you won't have to worry about setting the pricing for your provider. It will always meet the recommendations from SC Prime. And those prices shouldn't change by more than a believe at 0.5% each time they go up or down. So auto re-announce, I imagine, although it's not 100% clear yet, this is actually just going to re-announce your node every so often. So that could in theory mean you don't need to have a dynamic DNS provider because your node will just re-announce itself every so often or maybe if it can detect that the IP has changed. Not 100% sure, but I imagine that is what this is for. So again, as you can see here, if you purchase by the 30th of April, you do get 100% rebate in those two future payouts. So what about if you purchase the full version? Well, it's gonna cost you $450 and you don't get a full rebate, you get 55%. So you end up basically paying $200 in total. So this one gives you the full XA minor user interface with all the stats and financial presentation. So if you really want to have a sort of full experience of an XA minor, you can go for this one. Now they've got some really good documentation on the licensing setup. If you go to their uh, licensing page here, you can see there is none at all at the moment. So we're gonna have to wait until they do announce the details of how to install this license before we proceed with actually getting it. So like I say, if you don't have a license at all, you can carry on running your storage provider. You just won't get the XANet services customers which is what the big boys in the uh, storage world will obviously be uh, looking for, for the extra storage usage. Now, like I said, I would personally, if you're a sort of home user, just buy the basic minor version because it's uh, not really uh, 
something you're going to be logging on to and watching daily. Maybe you are, maybe you've got a monitor set up on your desk specifically for your SE Prime storage provider and you keep checking the status of it. So if you do, then maybe you should go for the $200 after rebate license. But me, I will go for the $99 for both my providers as soon as they actually update some documentation. But yes, there's no information as to what you do with this, but obviously $99 is the asking price so hopefully they will get some instructions up soon so next up is the nab show which is the national association of broadcasters now this is basically well as far as i can tell it's like an exhibition in america where people can go and it's like a i guess it's like a trade show where people flog their products and uh, try and get more customers so sc prime are attending this and i've had a look at the floor plan just to see where their stall is and interestingly enough it's right next to the Amazon Web Services one so you can see SCP Corp here so I guess the SCP guys are going to be sat there with their Raspberry Pis waving at the Amazon Web Services guys to see who can get the most customers. Now obviously I am just joking about the Raspberry Pi thing. I know the SC Prime team don't really like me but uh, I wouldn't say my videos are clickbait particularly. It's uh, probably someone else that they were talking about a while ago who uh, maybe said you could earn a hundred thousand dollars a year but uh, yeah no hard feelings i know they're just uh, trying to get their project up and running nicely so yeah i think um hopefully the launch event at the nab show will do some good and we'll get some more customers on board so that's it for this update. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave any comments you have down below and let me know your thoughts on the new licensing arrangements. My providers seem to be doing okay this month so far. We've only got 13 and a half and nearly 13 here on my other one. So we're at least in line with our last month's incentives. Use capacity is also going up, so that's good to see. So let me know how your providers are getting on down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.